Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Delicious in Dungeon Episode 7. And in the last episode, we got to focus a lot more on Chill Chuck and his bad history with Mimics. One thing that was really interesting was this anime's take on the Mimic, because normally when you think of a Mimic, or at least when I think of a Mimic, you think of the treasure chest that when they open up, there's a mouth inside and it like swallows you whole. But this time, it was like a crack inside of the treasure chest almost kind of using it like a shell so they ended up taking down the crab cooking it up like usual and having a feast at the end of the episode but now it is time to figure out what this episode has in store for us so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I drop a brand new reaction and lastly if you head on over to the patreon and join the two dollar tier then you get access to all of my uncut reactions including this series right here but with that all out of the way let's get into this episode some more adventures got messed up down here oh okay so these guys weren't killed by the treasure insects they were just paralyzed. Dang, they got robbed. Oh, maybe... Oh! Okay, okay. So they think... Yeah, they think that somebody took their treasure, but in actuality, the treasure was alive the whole time. Hmm? Dang, was that Marcel? It looks like a blonde strand of hair. Yep, yep, it was her. Wait, what the heck? How can he tell that he's tall just by smelling him? Because you know they were cooking up a storm back there. Dang, they were just unconscious and you're already trying to rob them? Mm. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. So, because I remember in the last episode, I think it was Marcel that mentioned that there are people that come down here into the dungeon to pick up the corpses. And maybe these were those guys. And they realized, like, wait a second, these guys aren't even dead. So, okay, okay, that makes sense. I thought these were just other adventurers. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Dang, man. You know what? I've never really realized it. I've always just... Kind of seen Marcel as like the goofy character, but she's kind of cute, man. They have to do it now. Look at the freaking long, luxurious hair, too. Ooh, this place looks cool. A lake formed by underground water. That looks beautiful, man. Makes sense. I think we know what we're cooking. Some kind of fish. Walk on water? Oh, that's so sick, man. I feel like being a mage would be so cool. Huh? I don't know. He's losing it. You gotta do it now. Look, he's fighting back. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to take the easy way out. I respect it. But it's too late now. 
Yeah, he also kind of hinted at this when she um, suggested using her fire match. But I guess dwarves are kind of like the opposites of elves in every way. And this man's still sinking. No way! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's all because of the beard. What? What? Wait, is that a... What? <laughs> a Kelpie? This man just has one at his beck and call? That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> Probably eating all the bugs and stuff. Just living in his beard. Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Use his guts and make a float. They've built a special bond. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you're asking. Wait, he should be fine, right? I think the Kelpie can swim. Oh wait, it let go! Is it gonna attack him? Is this the day it turns on him? Oh, he was right all along! Lyos knew! Now he's gotta choke it out! <laughs> no! Not like this! No, no, it's not their blood. At least it shouldn't be. Yeah, okay. Dang, man. He just had to put his own noble steed down. Dang. Time to start cooking! <laughs> that is kind of sad, though. He obviously didn't want to kill it. Oh, wait. Jeez. Okay, the sound effects are at. <laughs> I don't think we need all of that. Some of the fat, is she gonna use it for her hair or something? Chill Chug has just been chilling, man. Wait, those are people. Are these the guys we saw earlier? What the heck, bro? Every time we see them, they're knocked out. Oh no, chill check. This is bad. Yeah, we have to snap him out of that quick, cause aren't- Ooh. Hold on. I was just gonna say, aren't mermaids- Ooh. The way he knows the song? Hey, that's one way to stop him. He's got the voice of an angel! And even they ended up leaving. I was gonna say, aren't mermaids known for, like, you know, singing and, like, hypnotizing you to lure you underwater? Dude, Laios is... He's pretty, um... What's the word? He's quick on his feet. <laughs> we know exactly what you were thinking. <laughs> he saw the fish head, and he started getting funny ideas. My house is always hungry, man. They're like over here in the middle of preparing food, and he's still trying to cook up other things. Okay. Yeah, it looks just like normal seaweed. I don't think that's that bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lyos is shameless, man. Ooh, porridge with scattered barley. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Fish eggs. That's not bad. Ah oh, man, we caught you! Red-handed! <laughs> yeah, why? Guess that's all that matters. That actually gave me a good idea for today's question of the day, but I'll save it for the end of the video. There you go, she made soap! Did, I, I am so smart, bro. I am so smart. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. I knew that once she asked to have some of the fat from the Kelpie, I knew she was going to try to use it as some sort of hair product. Which means we very well might be seeing Senshi with the braided beard later in this episode. Now that we've got some soap. Dang. Let's go for the first time in who knows how long. He's actually washing his beard. Dang! <laughs> Are we done? Let's see, Marcel's masterpiece. Dang! What magic is she putting on it? Oh, oh, he can float now because she got all she got all of the monster gunk out. It looks like he has a fur coat on now. Oh, look at that. He's starting to warm up to magic. Oh, that's the worst. What are those? Are those flying fish? Wait, they are! Dang, what the heck? Are they like sharp? Over here slicing his nose. Dang, she got him. Blade fish. He's trying to make sure we don't wipe him out. Look at that. What's it called? Environmental conservation? Good on Senshi. Those blade fish are freaking deadly, man. Imagine if those were real. You just go boating with some friends and get sliced up. The merfolk, they're back. Oh! Oh no. Kraken. And they kind of alluded at it too when he was showing that pyramid. There were like some tentacles at the top. Dang, it's crazy how wild this ecosystem is in the middle of this cave. What the heck? That thing is huge! This is cool, man. So it looks like we might be having some takoyaki today. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'd love to know what that thing tastes like. Because I'm already a fan of, like, octopus and squid, so a giant one? It probably tastes delicious. Here we go. Explosion. Ah, oh, but it doesn't look like it did much. And now it's angry! <laughs> Maybe he's gonna snack on us this time around. We're gonna be the meal this episode. What the heck? What is that? Oh my god! I thought it was just a ball of seaweed. I was like, oh, it wants to play. And then it's sending a full decapitated head over to him. 
Hey, that's close enough. Hurry, what's the plan? Water walk? Okay, now it's in the air. You gotta hit it in its weak spot. We can't swim anymore. Senshi going in for the kill. Yep. Dang. That was sick. Whoa, it looks even cooler now. The all white with the yellow eyes. Even Marcel knows. Yep, yep, yep. So good, man. What the heck? It looks like a tofu block. What the heck? You just took a bite out of it? They didn't even cook it or anything. Ah, oh, what? Ew! Is that a leech? What? That is disgusting. I'm with Marcel, man. Y'all can, y'all can eat that. Leave me out of it. Oh god. Exactly. I don't want to know that, man. Oh no, they're actually cooking it, dude. Ew, what? Oh, oh, he was cutting it out. Okay. I thought they were gonna eat that part of it. Okay. Hold on, wait, let's let him cook! Let him cook! <laughs> like five more minutes Lyos he couldn't wait he started eating it before he cooked it what is wrong with this man yeah no surprise there it looks bomb right now and that's the circle of life yep Yeah, that's what you get. That is exactly what you get. Man couldn't wait five minutes for the meal to finish. Oh my gosh. Deserved, man. <laughs> that's why you wait for it to cook, dude. Because cooking it not only makes it taste better, but you also, you know, get rid of some of the bacteria. Especially when you boil it. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yep. And now the parasite's gonna eat us. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, isn't it? Meanwhile, Lyos is gonna start puking his guts out over here. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully he learns his lesson after this, man. Always oh, trying to eat everything. <laughs> there you go. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> that was such a beautiful, poetic ending to the episode. And I love how we like went through the whole freaking circle of life. We fought the bladefish. We didn't really fight. Yeah, we didn't really fight the mermaids, but they were a part of the circle of life. The squid was a part of it. The parasites were a part of it. So this is amazingly well done. All right, so that was the end of the episode. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what are your thoughts on seafood? And what are some of the more, I guess, kind of out there seafood that you've had before in your life? Because I know there's a lot of people that won't touch seafood with a 10 foot pole. But for me, I love sushi, I love, uh, I've had squid, I've had octopus, I've had fish eggs, and I'd probably even go as far as to say seafood is like my favorite kind of food out there. But let me know 
uh, I guess how you guys feel about seafood in the comment section down below and with that I am going to head out thank you all so much for watching this far into the video and I will catch you all in the next one have a good one